Um, my name is Dr. Peter Atherton of the Atherton Clinic, and I'd just like to tell you a little bit about this wonderful herb, aloe vera. Now, I'm a bit of an allophile. Um, I was introduced to it, oh gosh, over 20 years ago, and I was lucky enough to go to Oxford University and actually research it for two years. And as a result, um, I was able to write a few books on the subject. So you can see that I'm pretty passionate about it, really. But one of the things that I came across very early on in my study of aloe was that it had a nickname. Well, in fact, it's got lots of nicknames. But the one that is most common is the burn plant because it definitely soothes and helps to heal burnt skin. Now, my wife's a very keen cook and she cooks on an argo. And believe it or not, she burns herself time and time and time again because she doesn't always use those very padded gloves that you're supposed to. So I brought some aloe vera uh, cream home one day and I said to her, look darling, next time you burn yourself, would you just, um, instead of putting your hand under the cold water, you know, and all that, just um, put some of this cream on, I want to see what it does. And, um, I, that very night, I think, I was just um, reading the paper and I heard a little yelp from the kitchen. So I rushed in, I knew exactly what that was. And of course she'd burned herself and she was about to put her hand under the cold water tap. And I said, no, 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 let's put some of this cream on. So I rubbed this aloe vera cream on and I said to her, now tell me what, what, what's happening. And she didn't say a word. She didn't say a word. I said, come on, what's happening? She said, that's remarkable. I said, what? What's remarkable? She said, the pain's just gone, just like that. I said, well, go on, have some more. And I rubbed loads of this stuff on. And what did I see over the next few days was quite remarkable. Indeed it was, because the burn healed without pain and it healed much quicker than I would have expected by about a third. Now, you might say, what's that to do with tattoo removal? Possibly not a lot because the laser does not burn, but it does cause inflammation. And often after laser treatment, you usually get some reddening of the skin and sometimes some blistering. And this is due to an inflammatory process. But the aloe vera still works. You can put aloe vera cream onto this damaged skin and it soothes it and I believe promotes healing. So the whole thing settles down much faster. So that's the reason why we use it in the Atherton Clinic. And I think, and I hope, although I haven't proved it yet, that we will be able to do subsequent laser treatments at possibly six week intervals instead of the normal eight week intervals because of the effect of aloe vera. Thanks.